This time, Alex, I'm really scared. No balloons. Too bad, we may both survive. Oh, we may not. At the Halloween party last month, there had been gas balloons, and one of them broke in the face of our best agent. Maybe it was filled with cyanide poison, and maybe it wasn't. He died of a heart attack, or so we said. We lost a fine man. Selena, we feared, was next. So characteristic of our work at Section Q, we danced Selena into the open trap. We wanted desperately to know who at this lovely party would raise his hand or puncture his balloon to kill her. I, Alex Pierce, was assigned to keep her alive. I didn't mind at all. Selena Mee, to tell the truth, was my favorite headache. She'd been with us in Section Q for nearly 18 months and still refused to carry a gun. Alex, uh, would you be a good boy and go to the men's? Why? Family. I want to dance with the Turkish diplomat. I may never have a chance again. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Dance, madame. Oh, if you just give me one little minute. I'd like to freshen my perfume. Oh, uh, have you seen these new spray gadgets? Sleeping Tiger. Ah, delicious. Want to try? Cyanide. You'll be dead in about 45 seconds. <laughs> Fired first. Instruction 23A. Not cyanide. No, perfume. But uh, he wouldn't believe me. People are always afraid of their own weapons. And they're right. A year and a half ago, I had breakfast with Selena Mead, the wife of an old friend. I wanted to persuade her to help us in Section Q. Alex, they told me it was an accident. It wasn't. It was a very dangerous mountain. Don was a superb climber. You know that. His rope was cut. I have it in my office. You want to examine it? No. Selena, we need your help. Donald was traveling with a woman who was posing as his wife. She was one of our people, and she's disappeared. You see, there's a cartridge of film she was to have picked up in Yugoslavia and brought back to us in Washington. We want you to take her place. Dress as she was dressed, use her papers, take the same train, finish Don's assignment. Do you think you can do it? I'll try, with one reservation. Anything, Selena. No gun. I hate guns. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Merci. The hour is late for traveling, yeah? I don't mind. But we'll keep each other company. We're both all alone, no? Yes, aren't we? It has its advantages. Being alone, we have the entire compartment to ourselves. Yes, haven't we? Possibly the entire train. 
Well, I do hope there's an engineer. Uh, I hope so. But you know, in this barbaric country, one cannot always tell, can one? You know, I think the weather is changing. It's becoming awfully warm. We've crossed the border, no? No. Would you mind opening the window for me, please? My dear, you have no choice. Please, jump. I spotted him right away. He was purling when he should have been knitting. I was able to persuade her to take our short course instruction in firearms. She was a good shot. She would have been phenomenal if she didn't keep her eyes closed. Gruesome. It's yours. Keep it. No, thanks, Alice. You've convinced me, but I don't want to. Selena, this isn't a game. We're at war. Secret, nasty, undeclared. With the death of every Q project person, we lose vital information and vital skills. Which means you care nothing about me personally. Is that it? Right. Which is a lie. Which is a lie. Alex, you know the real reason I won't use a gun? No, please. Tell me. I'm a woman. I want to stay that way. You'd uh, rather not be restricted by those stubborn little hills and valleys women always seem to have? <laughs> exactly. I'd much prefer to design clothes in the abstract. Oscar, this is Selena Mead. She's doing an interview. Will you please be a nice boy and bring her a cup of hot tea? Yes. This is for you. Thank you for getting it to me. You're a dear. Ask how you please hurry. Selena, how horribly chic. Selena was now an experienced agent in Section Q. The trouble with Selena was that for an intelligence agent, she was rather too pretty. People invariably smiled at her, and she could never rid herself of the really dangerous habit of smiling back. Mrs. Mead is not at home. Oh, 
Alex, this is my birthday. Please go away. Uh, this is not, I regret to say, Alex. Wait a minute. So who? Forgive me. I show you at the theater tonight. I felt I must give you this message in a person from the depths of my soul. Isn't that nice? I love you. Not much of a message. I entirely agree. My case is quite hopeless. I was sitting in the row just behind you. Oh, were you the man... Right of... behind you? Unfortunately. With the funny glasses? I am ugly. I am unworthy. I am negligible. But I love you. Oh, dear. generally decodes all messages in 43 nanoseconds. I can. It's overcome with emotion. What the hell does that mean? It's perfectly plain. It's computer language for I want to make. Selena, be serious. I am. There's nothing to decode because there is no code. The message simply means what it says. The gentleman caller is Japanese. He fell in love with the back of my neck. This tribute to Selena, in my opinion, was well deserved. Her record was pretty extraordinary. A file on the Algerian opium case, closed. A file on the burning of the International Bank, closed. File on the green Brazilian diamonds, closed. File on the International School for Criminals in Hong Kong, not closed. In fact, rather doubtful. But doubtful, not a final total defeat. How do you feel? How do I look? Very natural. Alex, my foot's falling asleep. Can I get up yet take a little walk? Not until the ambassador arrives. I want his cheerful report to reach Lagos tonight. Alex, make waves. What? Dead spies don't smoke. Selena, dear Selena, she was sometimes more valuable dead than alive. I don't know about the outcome of the Cold War or what to expect next in Saigon. All I know is that I personally will never be the same, and neither will you, once you've met Selena. <laughs>